Hello, today I want to talk about emotional guilt. This is something which I have been suffering from and I've only read the term emotional guilt recently. So I lost my son Kostya last year, age 29, to horrendous um, addictions, alcoholism and mental health. And this year my other son, Dimitri, age 27, took his own life, tormented by mental health and addictions and alcoholism as well. And of course I'm making my way through the rest of my life with this new life I have, having lost two precious children um, and trying to find out who I am in this new life of silence and peace. Well, I read about emotional guilt because this is something I think I have suffered from immensely. And I think it explains a lot. So I can't look back on the past with the boys' lives and I can't find any good memories. I look back and all I can see is me failing. I saw how I didn't notice, I didn't understand, I didn't step in, I was, I was wrong. Um, and somehow I have become responsible for the trajectory that led my boys to their terrible ends. And it's crippling because I can't have any past because it's too painful to look. And I think, um, I think that my rational self would say, I can't be that bad. You know, I'm not a bad person, I'm quite nice. But no, I go back into the past and all I can see is pain. So, emotional guilt. I think that this means that my guilt is like a huge fog that's lying on me um, because it isn't down to one particular act or one particular thing. It's not like I had a car crash and injured the boys and that I'm feeling guilty about a la lapse of concentration or a mistake made. It's a huge ongoing narrative about wrongness and I'm the centre of it. So I read about emotional guilt and I thought, that's what I've got. Because it, it, I can't pinpoint it, it's just wrongness. And I'll tell you a little miracle. Um, my little boys and my daughter had the most wonderful nanny, a young teenager, when they were little and when Dimit from the day Dimitri was born. She was a teenager and she was such a darling. She, her name was Louise and she was like, you know, a godsend. But I was young, she was even younger. I was a single parent. And she came yesterday to visit. And I was so worried because I thought, I'm going to have to explain that I didn't mean the fact that I was such a bad mother and she was there to witness it and how I got things wrong and I was absent in my head so much of the time. So I tried to apologise to her and Louise didn't know what I was talking about. She said, you, are, you were a lovely mum, we had such a good time, I don't know what you're talking about. And I thought, hold on a second, if anybody knows what a bad mother I thought I was, it would be Louise. And she has no conception of what I'm talking about. She said we struggled. She saw that I struggled. And in fact, she was struggling in her own life and I didn't even notice that. I think because she, you know, we don't, when we're in the middle of our own difficulties, we don't always notice other people's. So, emotional guilt. I think with one meeting with Louise yesterday, I realised that I'm making this up and I'm looking for reasons for my son's deaths. And those reasons are not my fault. There are times when I got things very wrong. All of us do. But the boys' decisions to drink and take drugs that was their decision. I didn't make them. I didn't say, hi darling, this morning I'd like you to try heroin. Or 
Dimitri, you're now 15, it's time to start drinking. I didn't do that. I didn't show them. I don't drink and I never have. And well, not since I was 20. And um, I don't take drugs. So there was no example shown. I spoke to somebody who has the same kind of story as mine. And she said that what difficulties that I faced when I was a young mother, a young single mother, um, and what I did about it was often coping strategies. You know, if I'd absent myself mentally from the family, it was because it was a coping strategy and I didn't do it for long. It was just like an afternoon or an evening I just needed peace. So my emotional guilt is based on that. But Louise said the children were happy. They had so much fun. She looked after the children in her own house with her own parents and they loved it. They loved her. They still do. Well, my daughter is still alive and she still loves Louise and the boys. Well, they loved her always. And so do I. Anyway, I just think emotional guilt is very crippling. But when we have a name for it and we can see things a bit more clearly, because emotional guilt is a really good description of what a dark alley we can take ourselves down, then perhaps we're not as bad as we think we are. Perhaps, actually, we're okay. More later.